Oh, it was big time, uh, just being able. But I was focused all week because I knew I was going to give myself a shot uh, to play in the game. Still wasn't all the way there, but hey, you know, halfway is better than no way. So I'm happy. What do you see on the interception? Pardon? What do you see on the interception? Oh, I seen. I, I knew it was third and one, so I was like, third and one. He's they're going to try to. Uh, I figured the quarterback was just going to try to get the first down to move the sticks. So I was like, okay, cool. And then after that, I said, okay, I'm going to break on it. And then I took a chance. And then I wonder what I ball when I just tried to throw it so far to say, you know, every for everything, you know what I mean? That was the best part, though, throwing the ball. Brooklyn, uh, this is a big year for you. How gratifying is it to have a, one of those special games like this that really – Show people, you know, a lot of people, what you can do. Oh, it's big time. I've I've showcased what I can do year in and year out. Uh, not having camp, you know, so all the first two games, you know, still working my way in. But hey, third game, third game, normally filling myself out. So I think here on now, you can expect some big things. What did you think of those first two games coming into this one? Were you, I mean, production, the numbers were there, but did you, were you, did you feel good about them? Did you feel like you, you need to step it up in that? Oh, absolutely. I feel like I can, I can always step it up in that. Just like uh, today, I felt like I could have done a couple more things. Like I missed, I missed the tackle on that one. Uh, was I think it was in two and when I backed things. So just thinking about that. So I'm always hungry to get better because, hey, you know, I'm on a one-year deal essentially. So I'm just trying to do everything I can to, you know, do what I need to do. Missing. But your, your interception was able to win this game. You know, I mean, super perspective with that interception. Yeah, it was big time. Just, you know, it was really D-lining, uh, rushing. And then, you know, I think somebody got a hand on the ball. I think it was tipped, if I'm not mistaken. And then I just said, oh, I couldn't believe it. Fell right to me. So they say catch the ones that come to you and I did it and the rest is history. Missing some of camp, did you feel like it took a couple of games to find your peak rhythm? Uh, I wouldn't say my couple couple games to find my peak rhythm because I felt like, you know, I'm a pro at the end of the day and I feel like I can do whatever it takes any given week. But I felt like, you know, having certain things in camp that you'll normally get, that helps out. But hey, I didn't, that's the past, you know, so I'm just really sunset, no regrets. This, is, this was, was an ugly game. How would you kind of describe the resilience the team showed down the stretch? It was big time. I think it was complimentary football and just being able to have the O playing a uh, solid game, the special teams playing a solid game, and D we playing a solid game. O started out fast, and then we both stalled for a minute, moment, and then just being able to continue with that and trusting each other. It was big time. Brooklyn, did the hip injury concern you any more? Because, like I said, this is a big year for you. It's a one-year situation. that you want to stay healthy? Is that a, a bigger concern than maybe it might have been because of the situation, the circumstances? Uh, no, I think even if I was uh, even if I was paid, uh, <laughs> uh, I felt like I would have still missed uh, some practice this week. But uh, that's that, and I'm just you know thankful for the uh, trainers we got, good, great trainers, and uh, my people outside uh, of the facility. So I'm thankful for those people getting me back right, and I felt felt good enough to play. So if I, if I feel good enough to play, I'm gonna give it everything I got because that's what I signed up for. Do you feel like it is a risk? Do you have to be more careful about how the wear and tear of an NFL season because this is a big year for you? you know what I'm saying, do you, you know, some guys make quote unquote business decisions when they, when they have to play or whatever. Were, were you any more concerned about that because of, with that injury because of that? No, I wasn't over. I wasn't overly concerned because if I'm not able to do anything, I'm not gonna put myself in a position that's for if I got a check or if I don't. So at the end of the day, if I feel good enough to play, I'm gonna go out there and play and give it everything I got because my teammates uh, they depending on me and I depend on them. So I'm putting it on the line if I'm able to. Did, did you 